I wanted to switch it up one time, but now I already missed my highlights. I'm about to go put that wig back on. Watch me go and do my thing. Welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty late, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all did not know, my new song, Do My Thing, is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, and everywhere else. I guess it's not really that new anymore, but it's still a bop. And if you're streaming, send me screenshots so I can send you the Discord chat link so you can join us every single day. I'm in there Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and randomly. So come talk to us. And also, you want to be wearing the cutest merch. So make sure you head on over to shop.iamallyfits.com so you can. But now that that self-promo is all out of the way, y'all. So on Wednesdays, y'all know I usually like to do random things. But today... Today's a little different because I have somewhere I gotta go. And I didn't really have an idea for today, so I was like, you know what? Episode's getting good, so why not, you know, bring it to Wednesday? So without further ado, we're about to jump back into episode because I think y'all deserve it. And I kinda wanna know what the tea is. Like, what else could happen? My man hates me, and um, that guy I'm working for still hasn't gotten arrested yet. So, CIA, what you doing? Hurry up. You know, I think I can get used to this. Wait. I thought last time we left off, I he took that paper off my back. So why are we in the shower again? I mean, whatever. Um, so you're not breaking up with me? So you're not breaking up with me? It was just a lot to take in, you know? It wasn't just having to watch you kissing that guy. It was hearing you telling my family scandal that really broke my heart. Yeah. A fresh wave of shame and grief washed over me. I, I understand if you hate me right now. I don't. I've had days to think about everything that you told me. And I, I guess I can understand why you did what you had to do. You know, I've always sensed that you were keeping something from me. I just never imagined that your secret would be something straight out of a Bond movie. Yeah, well, you don't hate me and I'm glad. But the guilt continued to claw away inside of me. You were right to be angry with me. You were right to be angry with me. Well, I don't care what you think. I do forgive you. End of story. And if I'm being honest, even when I was still angry with you, I guess I already kind of knew I wouldn't be able to keep on being angry with you for long. And when I saw those kids picking on you, well, that was it. Do you remember what I said to you? That evening by the lake? By the lake where you brought me for our picnic? Aww. What did he say again? I forgot. What's wrong, Shuri? I'm not who you think I am. Hey, look at me. I have a feeling that there's something you're not telling me, but I don't care what it is. I really care about you, okay? And whatever it is that you're not telling me, I doubt that it would change what I'm feeling for you. It's okay if you're not ready to confide in me yet. I'll be here when you're ready. Je t'aime, Shirley. Aw, he said he loves me. I'm here for good. <gasps> can, can, you, can you please just hold me? I miss you so much. I miss you too. And there, we made it back up. So, do you mind explaining to me why we have to keep talking in the shower like this? I mean, if it's just an excuse to get me naked. Wow! Rooms are bugged, clothes can be bugged. It's the best way to make sure no one can ever overhear us. Bugged by whom? That guy? Both him and the FBI, actually. Wait, what? So, when we had sex in your room? I'm afraid so. <laughs> Yikes! Try not to think about it. So, you were saying nobody can listen to us in here? Yeah. <gasps> Come here, Sherry. Oh, well. Growing up in Manhattan, I had always been one of the most popular girls in school, despite never really caring about it. The last few days had nevertheless been extremely upsetting. To be picked on, targeted, and bullied, nobody should have to go through that. Baby. However, now that Renier had made it clear that I was his queen, oh, suddenly everybody was sucking up to me again. Mm, the tide had turned. I'm so excited about the Halloween party tomorrow night. What should we dress up as? Whatever you want, Cherie. Ah, see you after class. Okay, bye. Mm, sorry. I know I've said this before, but you have the best boyfriend ever. And he's throwing the best party of the entire year. So freaking excited. The best party of the year, and we're not invited? Maybe we should try apologizing. Honestly, I'll do anything to get invited to that party. Hmm. No. I 
can't believe this. Um, Aaliyah? Yes? What do you want? We are sorry. We're sorry. We didn't mean to. They were just pranks. Really? Pathetic. They just want invites to the party. Don't give it to them. But everybody who's anybody who's going to that party. Are you really so cruel? Please. <laughs> no way. Cry me a river. Maybe you can look at our photos on Epigram afterwards. Oh, come on girls, let's go. That's what she gets. Like, don't be rude. All them pranks they was doing to us? Nah, you good. Ah, oh, she's so effing smug. I hate her. Relax, don't frown like that. It'll give you premature wrinkles. Oh, just shut up, Carter. You wanna bring her down? I can help you. You? What can you do to help me? All you know how to do is copy other people's homework. Oh, there are many ways to bring her down. For example, I could run a smear campaign. Ah! Go on. I can Photoshop a few fake messages to make it look like she said some nasty stuff and send them around to everyone in school. I happen to be very good at that. What? Hang on, isn't that illegal? Aren't you afraid of the consequences if we get caught doing that? No. What are you, some kind of psychopath? Excuse me, that's offensive. Sorry, I'm a sociopath. Oh, okay. Listen, Carter, but that's going too far, even for me. Just sit back and watch. What? It's so cool that Renee's letting you decide who to invite to this party. And it's so cool that you invited us. Halloween is only my favorite holiday. It's the one day a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and other girls can't say anything about it. OMG, Rose. You're just quoting for Mean Girls now. What? I love that movie. Girl, have you both decided what you want to go as? Yeah, I'm going as Catwoman. Slutty Catwoman, of course. Ooh, of course. What about you, Rose? I think I'm gonna go as a gothic Lolita in a crimson red dress. I thought you were gonna go for the slutty look. Yeah, I'm gonna need more commitment from you here. Yeah, but I've always wanted to do the gothic Lolita look. Fine, geez. So maybe I could go with a slutty witch instead. What do you think, Lolita? Should I go with a gothic Lolita or a slutty witch? I mean, if you wanna be the gothic Lolita, you do it, girl. Like, do it. Definitely the gothic Lolita in a crimson red dress. Okay. What about you, Aaliyah? What are you and Renee going as? Are you gonna get dressed as a couple? Aw, I love those. Aaliyah, I need to speak with you urgently. Uh-oh. Why does she need to talk urgently? And why does she sound so stressed? Why did you want us to come to my room? Shh, one second. Oh. Oh, what she just do? Sorry, I had to search you for bugs. Why? What's going on? Aaliyah, I'm moving you to another room. What? I'll explain everything later. Can you pack up your stuff in 10 minutes? I'll wait for you here. Okay. What is going on? This room's nice. But do you mind explaining to me why you're suddenly moving me? Has, has something gone wrong? Uh-oh. We have a little problem. A little problem? What do you mean a little problem? That bug that you planted on a mod rod was working fine. We recorded him contacting his buyers. He was gonna meet the first one this morning. We were all in position. And then? And then he didn't show. Nobody showed, neither him nor his body. So he changed his plans? Why didn't you guys know about it from the bug if he changed his plans? Was all my work for nothing? I kissed him for nothing. I risked my life for nothing. There was no more transmission for the bug. It was supposed to keep transmitting for 48 hours before degrading, but we lost transmission after just 32 hours. But what, what does that mean? It's possible he might've discovered it. I felt a friction of fear run down my spine. So you can't arrest him? Wait. So what you're saying is, you can't arrest him. No, he's gone off the radar. I'm in danger, aren't I? Yep. We think it's highly unlikely that he's gonna look for you. He shot Jamie in the head. In the room next to mine. And now he knows I double-crossed him. Yes, but he's probably gone into hiding now that he knows that we're trying to take him down. I'm so dead. Just stay on campus and around other people at all times. I will also be constantly nearby. But what about at night? That's why I arranged this room for you. Nobody else knows about this room other than myself and C. And we've swept the entire room for bugs. Here are the only keys to this room. I'll also be in the room next door tonight. In addition, you will only be sleeping here for one night. We are making arrangements to set up a safe place for you right now. What do you mean? We're going to get you out of here. You'll hide out in a safe location with a fake identity for a while. We're preparing the place and documents for you now. How long will I have to hide out in a safe place? We've got it set up for three months. Three months? 
But you'll be out of here as soon as we track down Rod. What? When will I go? Tomorrow night. Oh, but tomorrow night's the night of Prince Renier's Halloween party. We know. So I'll be skipping it? It's actually probably safer for you to go and be in the company of many people than to stay alone in your room. Go to the party with everyone. As soon as we're ready to leave, I'll give you the signal. The signal will be a phone call asking for Jimmy. And remember, if you ever feel that you're in danger, activate the emergency signal on your watch and I'll come running to extract you. This is crazy. Oh, me and my man. I can't sleep. How was it possible that just earlier today I'd been so happy? I had completed my mission and the FBI was about to take a med rod down. I had told Renee everything and he still loved me. But now, everything had come crashing down. How could everything have gone so wrong? Rod would come for me, I was certain. Would he still be able to find me once I was hiding in this safe place? What was gonna happen between Renee and I? We were finally together again. And I was gonna have to leave him tonight. Why was life so cruel? Can't sleep. Oh. Thank you for staying with me tonight. But of course, don't cry, Cherie. You have no idea what it's doing to me to see you cry. Oh. Are you afraid that that guy is gonna come after you? Renier, they're relocating me to a safe house. What? When do you have to go? Tomorrow night. Yup. I can see him struggling to absorb this new turn of events. Finally, he squared his shoulders and his mouth settled into a firm line. I'm coming with you. What? I can't put you in danger too. I'm coming. You're not going anywhere without me. Oh, but what about the rest of the semester? Does somebody like me really need a diploma? What? He had a point. <laughs> anyway, I can always catch up with the coursework later on. Besides, I can't let you run off and hide in some cabin in the woods for three months. You'd die of boredom. It would be so much more fun to pass the time with me. Aw, I could teach you French or something else. Ooh. My niece went weak as he gave me a wink. Three months with Renee in hiding. We'll have nothing to do but each other. Ooh. You make a very strong case, Prince Renier. I can be rather convincing when I need to be. Wow. So you're my knight in shining armor? Oh, I'll be anything you need me to be. That's my man's y'all. Renier was gonna come with me. It was all gonna be okay. As he held me in his strong arms, I knew that I could face anything, no matter what happened. After spending the day overseeing the party arrangements, we were finally back in my room to get ourselves ready. Okay. The DJ is setting up his equipment and the caterers will be here in half an hour. You know, you're a very impressive event planner. You should plan all my events from now on. Is that a job offer, your royal highness? Oh, well, if I were to offer you a job, it'll be one where you spend most of the day naked and in my bed. What? Stop being so scandalous, Renier. There are very young girls reading this story. Too late for that, I think. Mm. All right, let's get dressed before I change my mind about letting you leave this room. Oh, let's try on the, oh, angel and demon, fairy and queen, Sweeney Todd and Mrs. Love It. Wait, I love the fairy outfit. I'm sorry, but I don't think I need to see anything else. Very A Midsummer's Night Dream. I love it. If Shakespeare had you as a muse, he'd have been too distracted to finish any of his plays. This is it, like I don't need to see nothing else. We make the perfect couple. Are you ready, my queen? With you by my side, always. Oh, look at us. Oh yeah, we tearing it up. Look at us. Who's the king and queen of the party? It's Renee and Aaliyah. Oh, you have funny friends. Aren't they just the best? They're just the best. I really love your goth Lolita we'll outfit, Rose. Luckily, I didn't come as a slutty witch. <laughs> there were already two over there. What? Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> me. Thank you for inviting us, Aaliyah. Hope you're enjoying it. Awesome party, Renier. Hey man, are you going to the Hamptons this summer? Oh, I love your costume so much. Ugh, it's the Minions. How did they get in without an invitation? Do not tell me they snuck in. Looking dumb. Shit, I think we've been spotted. We have a right to be here. She had no right to not invite us. Nevertheless, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if we were wearing our masks. If only we hadn't lost them. You mean if only you hadn't lost them? 
I placed him on the couch for only an instant. How was I to know that somebody would steal a couple of Halloween masks? So, what's the plan now? Are you sure you wanna go up and speak to her? After everything that we've done, we have to. We have to beg for her forgiveness if we wanna continue at the school. She's the bloody queen bee now. So unless you wanna be a social pariah for the rest of the year, fine, let's go. You go first. I don't like them and I will never like them. Remind me again why I agreed to come here with you using your stupid Photoshop invitations. Because you wanted to take revenge on them, remember? What the hell are you supposed to be anyway? I'm a French man. Well, you look ridiculous. She looks cute, but whatever. Ugh, this is so nauseating. I swear I'm gonna puke. Are you really gonna try to seduce Renier tonight? It's the only way to regain my status as Queen Bee of this school. What? You don't think that peasant is prettier than me, do you? I am, sorry about it. That cow, <laughs> never. Anyway, I've created the fake message. We'll show it to everyone and then nobody will be on her side anymore. Not even Renier. What does the message say? Look, what does it say? I wanna read it. You're truly an evil little shit, Carter. I know, after you. Who's this? Oh, so everything is set up and ready to go? That's great. I'm gonna get her now. We'll be, oh, sorry. <laughs> we'll be at the rendezvous point in exactly 45 minutes. No! Oh joy, the minions are coming over. Um, hi. Gosh, Aaliyah, you look amazing. Beautiful dress. First of all, I did not invite you three to the party. So how did you manage to sneak in? We, um, climbed in through the bathroom window. You did what? You've got to be kidding me. Where's the bouncer? Right. No, wait. We just wanna make it up to you. Please, let us be your slaves this evening. We can go get you all drinks. Let the minions get you drinks and be your slaves. Have the bouncer throw them out. Nah, y'all gotta go. Hmm, let me think. Nah, Hugo. Oh, please show the three in the skeleton costumes their way out. Eek. Bye. The bouncer is massive. Sherry. What? Hmm? So, when are we leaving? As soon as I receive the signal. I think it should be any time now. Luckily, they forgot to close the bathroom window so we could sneak back in again. Let's fight the drinks. <gasps> hey, are those guys wearing our masks? <gasps> hey, they stole our masks. You get those back. I need to make better choices. Because if they stay in the party, they might have survived. You know, your friends are nice, but I like when they go to the ladies and we have some privacy. What does she want? Ugh. Jill? Hi, Renee. We haven't seen each other in so long. I've missed you. What? Excuse me? You're excused. Ah! Get your wings out of my face, Renee. What is it, Jill? That's not a very friendly welcome, is it? How did you get in anyway? I didn't invite you either. Did you climb into the bathroom window too? <laughs> Funny. Actually, Renee, we thought you might be interested to know that Aaliyah has been bullying Jill. What? It's true, Renee. She sent me threatening messages. Look. Really? And if you believe them over me, what? You're an evil bitch. Excuse me? You heard me. Stop throwing yourself at my man. Wow, or I'll destroy you. You don't want to get on my bad side. I'll make you regret that you were ever born. I'm going to be a princess, bitch. <laughs> Um, I didn't say that, but that's funny. I've never sent such messages. I don't understand, OMG. Did you Photoshop messages to slander me? You sent them, just own up. I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna sue you. Wait a minute, I recognize you. You're Carter, you copied off my last test in physics. Oh, not coming in here with guns. Man, those costumes suck. Some people don't make any effort at all. I did not copy you. You're just jealous because I got an A2. From copying me. Get out. Yeah, tell her to leave her name. I mean you. Ooh, and take your little sad friend with you. <laughs> Consider this a warning. I won't ask so nicely next time. Bye. But Renier, <gasps> they, they shoot folks. What the hell? Was that a gunshot? Screw this. Hey, wait for me. Something is very wrong. Quick, this way. Hold up. We can hide behind a DJ console. 
No space for two. Oh, oh this is crazy. Carter, you asshole. <gasps> Did she get shot? No, I can't die now. I have 15,000 followers on Epigram. What? <laughs> you bought those fake followers, you loser. <laughs> You're a nobody. Shooting up the place? Yo, this is kind of scary. <gasps> Watch out. No. Oh my gosh. Run. No. Renier got shot. Warning you ahead. Oh my God, 10 seconds. Okay, um, 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 I'm gonna kick him. I'm gonna kick him. <gasps> Pick up the gun. Pick up the gun. Oh, I'm shooting folks. Aaliyah. <gasps> this is crazy. <gasps> Did he shoot at me? Y'all told me this episode was gonna get crazy, but I didn't know it was gonna be like that. Oh my gosh, guys. If you want more episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends because this was freaking insane. No, I gotta go edit this now because like literally I need this up now. Also, don't forget to buy, stream, and download my music. Get you some merch at shop.iamallyfits.com. Just have a great day in the name of the Lord. May God bless you every step. Goodbye. Let me go edit this. That was crazy.